so the background to the study is that the there was a phase 1b dose escalation cohort expansion trial CA209003 that looked at nivolumab given once every two weeks in various different diseases. Today, I'm going to be able to present the five-year follow-up in the non-small cell lung cancer cohort. So in this uh, expansion cohort, there were 129 patients with advanced non-small cell lung cancer who had been previously treated at, from one to up to five prior lines of therapy. They were randomized to three different doses of nivolumab given once every two weeks for up to two years. The previous efficacy, safety, and three-year follow-up has been previously published, and this um, presentation is based on a minimum follow-up of 58 months. So what's new is that the estimated five-year overall survival for this group of patients is 16%. In the past, based on historical controls, what we typically say the five-year overall survival for this group of patients would have been 4%, but with immunotherapy, specifically nivolumab, we're now seeing a 16% five-year overall survival and a plateauing of this curve, which is now typical of what we see with immunotherapy agents. Interestingly, we also looked at disease characteristics, and there was no clear disease characteristics or patient characteristics that really stood out to be able to predict, oh, you're going to be the one who lives five years and beyond. We did look at PDL1 status of the tumor, and approximately 50% of our patients had enough tumor to do PDL1 staining. This was back when uh, the biomarker wasn't uh, as studied quite as much, but in this, about half of the patients, about 60 patients, patients who had PDL1 negative or less than 1% staining, the five-year overall survival was approximately 20%. The patients with PDL1 staining 1% or higher, the five-year overall survival was about 23%. Now, if you looked at PDL1 staining of high using a 50% cutoff, the five-year overall survival in 13 patients in this subgroup was approximately 43%. Now, also we looked at histology, there was really no difference. Um, and then we also looked at different par patient characteristics again, and there was really no difference between the five-year survivor group versus the whole group who was treated. So I think that uh, in this study, we stopped at two years, and we do have data from the 16 patients that if you do stop at two years or even beforehand, the response can be durable for a very long period of time without needing further treatment. Certainly, based on the nivolumab label or the pivotal phase three studies, we continue to dose nivolumab until progression, but I think based on this, we can go back and look, can we stop at two years? Most of the studies uh, using nivolumab in lung cancer are now being amended to stop at two years. And there is a study, Checkmate 153, that is looking at continuous dosing versus stopping at one year. Certainly with drugs like this and others that are very expensive, it would not be nice to be able to tell our patients we can feel safe of stopping at a period of time. But we don't have yet a biomarker or even patient characteristic to say that you can stop now versus someone that needs to continue to receive that therapy to keep their tumor in check. Well, the take-home message is that for your patients, we can now quote five-year survival of 16% in patients who have been previously treated in, uh, with nivolumab, um, and um, certainly this is something new. Um, and again, brings hope for our patients that they too can be alive and well even five years from now.